Now, young ladies on the coach, if you hear somebody blowing a whistle at you, don't think somebody is admiring you or somebody is giving you a wolf whistle. What you're doing, somebody around you is doing something wrong. If you try to inside the barrier, they blow the whistle at you, and that's why the whistle is blowing. There's one place I show you where they won't blow the whistle at you. That's private property. I show you when we go up near the test. I show you where. Now look at this lovely 17th century Irish college in here to your right. See that lovely Irish college there, ladies? Would you like to have your honeymoon in that college there? Would you like to have your honeymoon in that college there, ladies? No. Thank you very much. I'll be looking forward to coming back because I'm the landlord of that college. So I demand my rights when you come back for your honeymoon. Just joking. I don't know who wants it. Just joking. I know who wants the college. That's Doolin down there where you had your lunch. That's Doolin down there. So there now is the Cliffs of Moor. You can't see the high part of the Cliffs yet. Cliffs of Moor on your left hand side. You see the high mountain there. That's the Cliffs of Moor. Now I show you two towns. One is the Hinge. The other is the Scanner. The Hinge is a great golf town, a great surf town, and a great surf club. The Hinge. You can rent out surf gear during the year. It's a lovely area for surfing. And also the Scanner. John Pellipollant was born in the late 18th century and when he came of age in the early 19th century he wanted to build a submarine that would go out into the sea and sink ships. He could not fit his dream in Ireland, Ireland so he went over to America in the early 19th century. He built a submarine, he went under the Passaic River for four hours and himself and the submarine survived. The first submarine built by John Holland over in America is in the Passaic Museum near Paris in, near New Jersey. And you have a second submarine in Connecticut called the Holland Submarine. And I know that's true because I had three or four people on the coach here uh, years uh, there, a couple of years, and they told me that they were on the Holland Submarine in uh, Connecticut. Also the Hudson River, the tunnel going on the Hudson River, that was designed by Richard Holland, a relation of John Philip Wallet. So there's a, a small tour of America now, as well as the Burn. So if you're over there. Now, John Philip Allen did make a he did make a submarine here in, in Ireland. He made a, a, a barrel, no bigger than himself. He fitted into it. He went under the lake for uh, one hour down near Corrigan, down near Father Ted's house, and he lasted one hour underneath the water. So that's how we got the idea of building a submarine. Now, there's still quarry in this little scatter stone and stays here. Now, why are they called the Cliffs of Moor? There's an old fort down from you. You see Napoleon's room fort. Napoleon, anywhere you see an old fort in Ireland, they call it a moor in Irish. So it says saying that this is the room fort in English, they put in Irish, the Cliffs of Moor. Also, you hear of a place called Hag's Head. There was a lady after Cook Cullen. Cook Cullen was a great warrior here years ago, and she was after him, and she fell into the sea down there, Napoleon's room fort, and the area got the name from that lady called Mal Hag, that called us Hag's Head ever since. So she was strong down there, Potty and Kukula. Now the puffins are down the Goat's Island. If you ask any of the rangers up in the Tiffs Moor, if you can see puffins on the Tiffs, ask them where Goat's Island is. Now, you might think looking down at Napoleon's room fort, that you can walk down there, that's private property, and if you even dream of walking down there, you're talking about nearly three hours. It takes over an hour and a half to go down, because you're going in and out, it's not straight down, you're going in and out, it's five miles down, and you're going in and out. So it takes you about an hour and a half to walk down, another hour and a half to walk back. And anyways, you're on private property, the same as I'm going to show you here now in a moment. Where the rangers won't bother with you, if you go out to the very edge, you can hang over if you like, <laughs> whatever you want to do. The old rangers won't blow the whistle at you when you're up on the top of this mountain. And you see people out very near the edge, and you see the clay is uh, ready to go up from underneath your feet. So, the wind and everything like that, there has been tragedies up on top of this hill, our mountain, where I'll show you the minute. There has been tragedies up here, people have been blown over. People have fallen over, they're too near the edge and the clay goes from underneath their feet and nothing then.
put a share drop into the Atlantic Ocean. And you'll never, <laughs> ever, ever come back to me again. <laughs> and if you don't, I'll be crying all the way back to Galway. And I'll have tears in my eyes. I won't be able to see the road. 